so this is Advent for one day off because we had some internet issues yesterday we weren't able to post and I wasn't able to film because I was having camera issues as well so this morning I'm thinking on the fact that sometimes we don't think that we're going to make it through something that we have to go through. I, today myself I'm okay, but a lot of people I know are having a hard time getting through life right now. And well, it reminds me of when Jesus was on the cross and he cried out that Eli, Eli, or Eloi, Eloi, however you want to say it, why have you forsaken me, my God? Why have you forsaken me? And I don't believe that God had forsaken him at all, of course, because Jesus was also God, but he was also in the flesh. But I believe he cried that out so that we would remember when we're feeling like we can't make it, when we're feeling like, like life is not going to turn out how we want, when we're feeling like things are just too tough for us to keep going, that we can remember to pray always. We can remember to love one another. We can remember the baby Jesus who came. I'm not sure if it'll show up as clear as I want, but that is a picture of the nativity with the word love all around it. That and pray always are my focus for this morning because though yesterday was Ephesians 1 today it's just a thought process that we pray always because for one thing it can encourage us for two things it can remind us that God is there with us going through things and for three things when we pray stuff happens so think on these things today and um, yesterday's word was kindness and sweetness being sweet to others and I gave out a gift of sweet delights in the morning an apple um, crumb tart sort of thing without a crust and um, I'm told it was pretty good but the sweetness is the focus that I wanted on it and it was um, an apple because apples are healthy for us and they help us to think better so I wanted to pass on the idea to share God's sweetness with one another today and that was for yesterday but do it today and then later on I'll get you the Advent number five